All right, so welcome everybody to the Applied Ballistics Seminar. Um, this is probably one of the coolest venues, I think the coolest venue that we've been to. Uh, if it was daylight when you drove up here, you had a pretty good show coming up through the mountains. Um, I was raised in Pennsylvania, so I'm used to the Appalachian Mountains, but they're nothing like this. This is really amazing. Um, we're gonna get into a, a detailed overview of, of this course, but there's a few sort of opening comments I'd like to make. Uh, this course is very participation driven, okay? We rely on a lot of feedback, a lot of questions. Um, you guys are gonna steer the conversation here. Uh, we have material, we have slides to present, but it's gonna be really boring and it's gonna be over really quick if you know, we just present the slides and you know, we're taking half hour breaks every hour. So it really relies on you guys to get engaged, get involved, because we're here to discuss what questions you have and what things you wanna learn about um, the slides are really just to guide the conversation beyond that. Um, so to kind of give an understanding of uh, who we're dealing with in the crowd here, I do kind of like a hand, hand raising survey. Um, and you can raise your hand more than once for what kind of shooting you're interested in, okay? Varmint shooting, target shooting. Um, and that, that'll help me from the very beginning sort of understand uh, the, the demographic that we have. All right, so if you, were, if you have any interest at all in a varmint shooting application, raise your hand. Okay, that's quite a few. Okay, target shooting, uh, bench rest, F class, uh, palma shooting, that kind of thing. Okay. Hunting, long range hunting. Okay, some of you guys do it all. Uh, PRS, tactical style shooting. Okay. And do we have any active duty military law enforcement? Okay, a couple. Okay, so that'll be helpful. Um, the breakout sessions are going to, the way we're gonna do that, we don't know for sure exactly where all of our breakout room options are yet. So what we're gonna do at 6.30 um, after dinner, everybody's gonna kind of congregate in this area, and then each of the guest speakers who is hosting a breakout session is gonna basically say, all right, everybody that wants to come to my session, follow me, and they'll take you to his area. And one by one, we'll sort of um, go off into the areas. And you know, I'll explain uh, some of the guys you'll hear from today. They'll be presenting. Others will be presenting tomorrow. But you know, you should have a good idea of what each of the guest speakers is going to address. You know, so you can decide. And, and I mean, you can wander around from one to the other. It's really informal after hours there. All right. So in front of you, you've got a binder that has uh, all of the slides uh, that I'm going to present. We tried different ways of doing that. I know that. Not being in color isn't always perfect, and having it printed on you know, two slides there isn't perfect. Uh, we're working on making that better, but you'll have all of the content. If there's any of the content that's printed out that you can't see good enough or you want clear image of, send us an email and we'll send you the content that you want. Okay, so we're gonna start with the, the course outline. Everything, this is the pointer, by the way, and attention getter generally, you don't go to sleep. So this is the introduction slide to every single block of instruction. Um, sometimes whenever you're talking about uh, ballistics and academics and the intellectual exercises that we get into sometimes debating these things, uh, we lose track of the objective, right? That's why this slide is at the beginning of every single presentation. The objective of understanding ballistics is to put rounds on target. All right, that is the bottom line. No matter how you look at it, what we're trying to do is go from here, there's a laser on here somewhere, to go from here to here. That is the job of ballistics. Okay, there's a lot of discussion in these seminars about hand loading and precision and shooting tight groups, and that's important. But the role of ballistics is to understand how to make accurate sight corrections so that you can center your group on the target. All right, so that's the objective. So if we ever get too deep in the weeds on anything, you know, advanced stability, for example, you know, that's, it's pretty common then where somebody will raise their hand and say, hey, what do these equations have to do with hitting targets? And that's where I'm challenged to answer that question. And if I can't tell you what that has to do with hitting targets, then we move on. <laughs> yeah, this is the role of ballistics right here is the accuracy element. All right, so here's kind of our outline of what we're going to do starting this morning. Um, this is where we're at right now, introductions and overview. Uh, we're going to go into trajectory features. That's kind of our first technical block. It'll seem kind of basic, 
Um, but there may be some things that, you know, you, it's been a while since you've seen it, or maybe you somehow missed it, and we're going to catch everyone up on the, the lingo and the, the graphs that we use to present trajectories. Um, 10 o'clock, we'll talk about ballistic coefficients in custom drag modeling. This is, has a lot to do with how your ballistic solver will interpret the inputs that you give it to calculate trajectories. Um, 11 o'clock before lunch, um, Emil Praslik is going to present uh, practical shooting tips and wind reading advice. And then it's lunchtime. Uh, lunch, 12 to 1, uh, we'll be in the same place that y'all had breakfast. And then uh, after lunch, uh, we go heavy, heavily into wind. Wind is one of the biggest challenges that we face as long range shooters. So we have a, you know, several blocks that address wind directly, and most of the blocks at least touch on wind a little bit because it's just that pervasive in everything that we do. Um, yeah, we'll talk about the, the physical mechanism of how wind deflection works, as well as strategies for managing it in competition. Uh, two o'clock, uh, we're going to talk about the King of Two Miles match. Uh, that's something that we've been getting involved in a lot more recently at Applied Ballistics is uh, looking at extended range shooting, right? extreme ranges beyond the mile into transonic. So um, we had a, a pretty um, exciting experience at the King of Two Miles last year. We're looking forward to it again this year, so we're going to talk about that. Uh, Three o'clock, uh, guest speaker Jeff Brozovich from Long Range Only. Um, Jeff is our sort of our resident uh, long range hunting expert. He's probably got more experience either uh, directly or on guides, uh, you know, killing large animals at long range. So um, he's going to bring his perspective in on that. <clears throat> then 4 o'clock, Nick Vitalo. Um, he's going to talk to us about laser rangefinders, laser technology in general, um, give some presentations and uh, test results on how laser rangefinders compare and how to assess their performance. And then uh, that ends the formal blocks for the day. Uh, we'll have dinner from five to six. Now, I, I don't believe that dinner is served in that same room. I think dinner is, you're kind of on your own. There's several hotels, several restaurants in the hotel here to, uh, to find for dinner. And uh, 6.30 is when we're all gonna meet back here. And that's when we're gonna break out to the various different sessions. And like I said, you can, you can follow a guy to his breakout session and then just kind of hop around to the other ones you know, as, as your interest take you. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, we start with basic and advanced spin stability. All right, this kind of this kind of stuff I put first thing in the morning because everybody's got you know fresh with coffee, and after lunch is a bad time to talk about that kind of stuff. So um, that's probably the the heaviest math part of things is when we get into stability. Um, after that, we have we talk about secondary effects and extended range shooting. Secondary effects like um, spin drift and Coriolis effect, those things that are not, you know, primarily, your primary effects are, you know, gravity drop and wind deflection. That's, that tells 90% of the story. But we'll talk about those other subtleties that become important at long range tomorrow morning. Um, then we're gonna have a talk about sites. Um, sites may not appear to be a, a ballistics topic, but I mean, sites, that's the critical link between what you know about your fire solution and what actually gets applied to your aim. So it's, uh, you can't take sites for granted, and so we have a uh, good time to really talk about that. Now, it's not on the agenda here because it was last minute, but um, sometime tomorrow morning, uh, we're going to fit in uh, Paul Phillips. Paul's a teammate on the U.S. rifle team, as well as the Applied Ballistics ELR team, and Paul is going to present on uh, teamwork and uh, shooting events. Uh, Paul's been a part of many different teams from uh, from sniper teams to uh, four-man, six-man F-class teams uh, to eight-man world championship teams and uh, ELR teams. So uh, he's got a lot of experience in that area, and he's going to talk, you know, about what he knows there. Uh, before lunch tomorrow, then um, Mitch Fitzpatrick uh, from Applied Ballistics and Lever Precision Arms is going to talk about ELR shooting, in particular your equipment selection, your cartridge classes, your bullet selection. Um, you know, what kind of twist rate considerations you want to make for the kind of bullets you're shooting, what kind of velocities you can get with different classes of bullets and, and cartridges and things like that. Uh, lunch, same plan. Uh, after lunch tomorrow, we're going to talk about weapon employment zone. The, the essence of weapon employment zone is kind of hit percentage, okay? 
Classic ballistics provides an answer in terms of windage and elevation, right? And it can be simple or sophisticated, but that's all you get is windage and elevation. That's the final answer of any ballistic computation. Weapon employment zone uh, brings in the, um, uh, the heuristic prediction element of it, which is to say, hey man, that shot that you're about to take with 68 minutes of elevation and four and a half minutes of wind, that's actually like a 4% shot. Um, and we're going to talk about how that's calculated, how your environmental variables, as well as your ballistic performance, will combine to determine what your hit percentage is on given size targets. There's a lot you can learn from doing woods analysis even prior to building a rifle. Uh, two o'clock, I'm going to talk about group analysis. Um, this is the part where we talk about actual precision. Okay, like I said in the beginning, most of this is taking your group, whatever size it is, and centering it on target. Uh, during this group analysis part, we're going to talk about group size. Um, in particular, uh, can groups shrink at further distances? So if I shoot a one minute group at 100 yards, can I shoot a half minute group at 200 yards with that same gun? That's sort of an interesting topic that usually stirs some debate. Uh, Three o'clock tomorrow, we've got Ian Clem, uh, guest speaker from Vortex Optics. Um, Ian is very uh, knowledgeable about the internal workings of rifle scopes. And as a shooter on the US rifle team, he's also you know, familiar with the practical application of things as well. So he's very good at explaining um, rifle scope technology. Uh, then tomorrow, four o'clock, um, Doc Beach and Nick DeCalvo are gonna give a presentation of the applied ballistics analytics software that you all have access to. Now, did everybody get their licenses and access to that software? Okay, if you haven't, uh, send us an email and follow up. We'll make sure that you get uh, hooked up with that. The Applied Ballistics Analytics software is kind of a, the Cadillac of ballistic solvers, but it takes a, some instruction maybe to get comfortable with, so that's what those guys are gonna do. Um, it calculates weapon employment zones. Um, it has a full library of custom drag models. It can do segmented wind calculations, so it's really it really does it all. So those guys are gonna explain a little bit how to do that. And then same program for dinner and breakout sessions tomorrow. Um, the breakout sessions on day two are usually a bit light because a lot of folks head home, uh, but we'll be doing the same thing tomorrow night as we do tonight with breakout sessions.